shit. Is he? Is he okay? Come into the pit lane. Oh, tell me he's okay, please. Tell me he's okay. There are certain moments where silence falls on a racing track and you know what that means. You cannot do anything. You're just a passenger to this. The world seems to be coming down on you. Once you see fire, that's the worst thing you can have. This is bad. Yeah, this one was hard to watch. I felt very, very vulnerable in that moment. Everything goes through your head. You don't think that anybody can get uh, out the life of this one. I'm doing racing long enough. There is no good outcome. He's not coming out. The longer you sit and you wait, the more... the fear kicks in because your instincts are that you know what the reality is. When I saw the fireball, I couldn't believe that this could happen in modern Formula One cars. And a car shouldn't break in two. Only when you see those things, you believe the danger that we are, we're going to. The big question was, where's, where's the rest of the car and where is the driver? I did think that this would be a very bad outcome. As I looked to my right, I could see uh, the driver through the, the gap in the flame. Organisation problem there! Sorry, mate, that'll be it for you, I'm afraid. Felipe's light went green and off he went, but his fuel rig was still attached. Finally, he came to a halt and the Ferrari mechanics arrived on the scene. He had dominated the race and now he was last. Oh, look at the pit lights close and Hamilton has hit the back of Kimi Raikkonen. Presumably the red light was on, it's green now, but Hamilton has smashed into the back of Raikkonen on their way out of the pit stop, and that is an unbelievable thing yes, to is. happen in this Grand Prix. Raikkonen was waiting at the red light, and Hamilton wasn't expecting it. And in less than eight seconds he's away, but the right rear flies off, scattering other mechanics. And the three-wheeled Williams stops in the pit lane. Now in the pit lane, another wheel is manhandled on. All sorts of regulations are being broken. The car is lifted bodily. Inevitably, the black flag for Mansell. of winning for William. Gnarly, and he's got tangled up with Lance Stroll. And coming out of that chicane, Hartley got squeezed up against the fence. 
I'm a little bit surprised Brendan was out there, to be honest, but not as surprised as Lance Stroll was, clearly. There is a packed grandstand of Lance Stroll supporters down at the hairpin, and the local hero didn't even get the chance oh, so to race past them. Stroll got some oversteer in the middle of the corner. The back end stepped out. He had to counter. Oh, oh he's gone, gone off. In. And a big crash there for the Toro Rosso. Now, what happened here? Your first reaction, something broke on the car. Yeah. Oh, it's a oh. front left that failed in a big way. As soon as he hit the brakes. Yeah. I've not seen Nasty. something like that since your Toyota teammate, Sebastian yeah. Buemi. In China. China and Shanghai, when both front That's wheels upright, came off. That's the upright failing, isn't it? On the brakes. As soon as he's oh. hit the brake pedal, that's uh, it's literally ripped the, uh, yeah, the, the, the brake and, and upright from the car. And I tell you what. And it's lights out, and away we go here at Spa. Hamilton gets away well. Perez as well, covering his teammate. Hamilton moves over to cover on Sebastian Vettel, and there's locking up in a crash, and Fernando Alonso goes over the top there of Charles Leclerc Sauber. Also involved, Nico Hulkenberg in the Renault. Okay. He got hit from behind by Hulkenberg, didn't he? Yes, he did. He gets a thump now and uh, spun around and cleared. Look at this mess that's made of the side of that McLaren. Losing his rear wing as well. And we can see now what it looked like from on board with Charles Leclerc. He wouldn't have known what was coming. He did now. Oh, that's a big crash as well. And that's the Sauber of Marcus Ericsson. Red flagged the session. Session suspended, and Paul, th there was absolutely nothing he could do. The car just went on under braking, just stepped out from underneath him. When you have spectacular ones like that, the energy dissipated over a long distance with the with all the bits and pieces flying off as well. It's, it's not the sudden stop. That's the, well, they're the ones that really hurt. So whilst it looks spectacular, as long as nothing comes into the cockpit to get you. Sale caminando del auto un golpazo, eh? el más fuerte, digo, del fin de semana contra el muro de los campeones. Absolutamente, Ahí. ¿no? Es por, sobre todo por la forma como rebotó contra el muro interno y acabó destruyendo más partes de, del auto, ¿no? Pero bueno, inscribe su nombre en un muro célebre para la Fórmula 1. Así es, duro golpe, ¿eh? Se quejaba un poco de dolor. Ahí veíamos a. a... Moving. Here we go. I'm Here's talking to his engineers. Turns in, and just as he picked up the power, the rear end stepped out of line caught him off guard there. It's a rare, that's a rare, rare, I don't think I've ever seen anyone